Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. As you can see, this is not a FIFA 18 video, it is Fortnite. The long awaited season 4 is upon us and did it destroy Tilted Towers? No, it did not. You can just see over there on the right that Tilted Towers is there. It's actually hit just beside, um, what is it called, the depot area? I forgot what it's called now, but as you can see, as it's only just been released, everybody uh, wants to get in there. Dusty Depot, that's it, I, I remember now. Um, it's actually called Dusty Divot now, um, since that crater has been um, created. Um, so very, very big area, as you can see, huge hole in the ground. We are going to go over there in a second, but there was so many people there. It's going to be a bit of a war, so I did end up going away to try and get myself a few guns. And as you can see, all my teammates did die. Uh, there are some little blue gem things down there. I have no idea what they are. And we're also going to have a look in today's video um, of the things that you get through the Battle Pass, uh, the Season 4 Battle Pass, so we'll have a look through that. It's the actual first Battle Pass which, I, which I've which i purchased, because um, I, I don't play this game a lot. I'm hoping to play a lot more of it now that Season 4 is here. Um, and as I said, I don't know what these do. I don't know if it adds to anything or whatever, but we did progress through it. And as you can see, the effect, picking up those gems and consuming them, you can jump higher and a bit further as well. So very exciting to use those. Uh, they are in a few areas scattered around the map. There is this area, of course, Dusty Divot. Uh, there is another area uh, near Whaling Woods, I believe it is. Um, but before we go into that, I will show you the, the area near Whaling Woods towards the end of the episode because there's quite a lot of loot there as well. Uh, but as you can see, this is the Battle Pass upgrade for Season 4. And there's actually some nice little skins here. They can see the Carbide or Carbide, is that how you pronounce it? Yep, Carbide uh, skin. There's some really nice ones actually. And the Omega one is the tier 10, um, uh, tier 10, tier 100, sorry, skin that you will unlock. And um, we're just going to go through all of these. Obviously, you've got your usual um, emoticons and your XP boost. And look at that harvesting tool, the Gale Force. I think I'm going to actually equip that. I like that a lot. We do have a new backpack. Um, I don't, it's okay, I don't think I'm going to use it, I think I will equip it at the start, but as going forward I don't think we're going to have it. Some more loading screens of course, and we do have some sprays which you can spray on walls I believe in the game. So excited to see them, that GG one is pretty nice, we do have another glider, uh, one which I, I will equip at the start. I don't think I'll be losing it, using it for long though, the retro sci-fi, the skydiving trails, I do like those, I will um, equip them because I don't have it unlocked any, uh, at the minute and then there's another outfit there the technique and uh, some more dancers of course emotes uh, the orange justice uh, quite a few people wanted this one in and now it is in the game and it'll be very very exciting to see that one when you get your kills or whatever um, then let's go through the rest of the season 4 battle pass unlocks we have unlocked obviously up to level 26 right now so once we get playing some more games we will progress through, and there is a popcorn emote, that's pretty cool. Um, some more sprays, the O's, the V-Bucks, and some more trails, uh, loot. Wings of Valor, that's a nice glider, that will go nicely with that other harvesting tool we just saw. Uh, so it won't be too long before we do unlock that, I will equip that one as well. Uh, better than that candy one that we saw, Leviathan, uh, plotting, another harvesting tool, a lollipop. And Zoe outfit, not a big fan of that, but no doubt a lot of people will be using that, especially you girls. Uh, Lightning, that's a nice skydiving trail. I think I will use that on and off as well. Some more emotes, a bit. fairly basic one there, still nice to have. And goodie bag, look at that one. That's pretty pimped out, isn't it, for all you badass gangsters out there? Uh, yeah, probably not, but I'll probably use it at some point. Some more v books some more loading screens, XP rewards, and another spray. Three llamas, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, another dancing emote, Hype. I do like that one, so we'll probably equip that once we do get it unlocked. As I said, I will be playing this Season 4 a lot more than I did Season 3. I only really got into Fortnite during Season 3 because of all the hype and such, so I'm not the best player on it. But I will try and actually um, bring some streams over on Twitch and to, onto my YouTube as well as some Fortnite videos. I'm mainly playing a duo, sometimes in the squad, a lot of solos. Uh, so we'll see what kind of videos we can do for you guys, but do not expect any high-level gameplay. My name is most definitely not Ninja. Uh, oh, wow, look at that 
trail. I do like that skydiving trail. Shooting star, that's probably my favorite one. And one that I'm really going to um, want to use. 84, that one. Tier 84, I think. That is the one that we're going to be aiming for. Squad leader, that's a pretty badass skin there. And uh, Bananas. Raven, some more banner icons too. <laughs> That's a pretty cool um, sprite. And the emote Groove Jam. That's pretty cool. Look at that. He's wiggling his hips there. Another good one there to get your groove on when you get those badass sniper shots. Now we'll head into that um, other area, the new area next to Wailing Woods. I'm sure there are other areas around the map. Look at that badass. That is just one awesome skin. Um, much better than the John Wick one, I believe. Well, in my opinion, at least, a mega badass as hell. So very excited to one day be able to do that. Hey, I'm going to just update all my outfits, uh, make sure I've got the ones selected. I don't have many. As I said, I've only started playing during Season 3. I don't have many things unlocked, so it is nice to finally get myself a battle pass. So I've got a few extra things to equip. And look at all the things that I've been using. Really basic stuff, right? And let's get ourselves a new parasol. There we go, a nice little glider there. Uh, we'd need that retro sci-fi um, skydiving trail. Finally got ourselves a little loading screen. And some emotes which I need to play around with as well. We've got the dab. Had to get the dab back in Season 3 or whenever it came out. I only got it in Season 3 myself though, but it's nice to have the dab. Got some dancing moves on there. I will quit some of the sprays. I do like that GG spray. The, the one with the smiley face, so... I think I'll put that in my empty spot there. There we go. GG. Be interesting to see what they look like in game. And can actually use them all around um, the map. So that would be pretty fun to use. We do have a Love Hearts one as well. I think I'll get that when he quit. And I think that is all my things that I really want. Let's just get rid of all these exclamation marks so they're not popping up there on the on the menu because my OCD will go trippy. Don't forget that last one. So as you can see also there is a new loading screen or menu screen even and a nice little feature here for your solo duos or squad choosing. And of course I do like to play squads even if it is just a random squad. So that will probably be the first few games that I try. I will be um, doing a solo and I'm going to jump into a solo right now just to show you that other new area on the map. We do have to look for the letters um, that which spell Fortnite throughout the map so I'm going to show you where the F is for that right now. now a lot of people will be going down to Dusty Divot straight away uh, but just over here next to Wailing Woods there is a new little area, a new little town and there's quite a lot of loot there especially if you go there by yourself and we're just going to go down there myself right now and then that will be more or less the end of the video. As I said this is my first Fortnite video so let me know if you do want to see more Fortnite um, things on here, what kind of videos as well do you want streamed, do you want um, gameplays, let me know. Now, as I said, I'm not the greatest at the game, especially when it comes to building, uh, but once in a while I will pull off some, some magic, uh, but very, very rarely that happens. But here we go, then here is a new area. Uh, what is this called? Risky, Risky Reels. This is what this area is. Got another little crater here, as you can see. Um, some of uh, those little crystal things so if you do consume them as you, as you saw at the start of the video you can jump pretty high but one thing I did find out if you use it now if like we're going to consume this and try and get in one of these trailers it just ruin your jumping so you just try and jump in and obviously you go too high and it was a pain in the ass for a little while but I did finally get in the back there to open that crate so use them wisely otherwise it could ruin the game something though nice to be added to the game and hopefully they'll get used really well no doubt ninja and all those pro players will be showing us how to use these things properly but let's just go through this little area risky reels it's called not right next to wailing woods and you're going to see actually how many um, crates there are there's quite a lot of these um, gems around too and we've already got ourselves two blue weapons we've got ourselves a green burst and i don't know if you can see up on that left side there there is uh, the letter f uh, we'll go and get it shortly as we just go through here. Some more ammo. Some barbecues. Anybody want a barbecue? A little kid's area as well. Another chest on top of that trailer. Uh, we don't need that. We're already full energy and shield. A trap. Some houses as well around here which also um, have some um, chests inside. I'm sure it won't be always as lucrative lucrative as it has been for myself but look at the weapons I've got just in the same area 
got myself um, even a purple scar out of this chest as well. Um, so quite a lot of decent loot from myself. Very, very handy, especially, as I said, going in on a solo. And here is the letter F for the Fortnite. It is in one of the challenges for the Battle Pass. And as you can see, it is up there. So let's just build ourselves up there, grab this, and then I think that will be the end of today's episode. I have no idea where the other letters are just yet, um, but no doubt we'll be finding them pretty soon, getting that one unlocked. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did like the episode. Enjoy Season 4. Let me know how you get on. And we'll be bringing more videos to you pretty, pretty soon. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.